What's going on, guys? Welcome to another edition of Wrestling That Made Us. I'm your host. I'm the notorious one. I am Dom. I'm here, my longtime friend, my best friend. We go way back from high school, track days, playing parenthood, all that. Now we're daddies. Now I'm here with the daddy. I'm here at Poppy Platino, the Dominican dream. What's Pop. up, baby? What you want from me? What, what kind of match you want to heal that made me love wrestling? You chose the match. You chose WrestleMania 10, Shawn Michaels, and uh, Razor Ramon. So let's get into it. Press play. Okay. We are at one hour and 54 minutes on the dot. They're showing the, the two Intercontinental Championships being hung from the rung right now. All right. So besides this match right here, what got you into wrestling? Um, I would definitely say my, my father, because um, he had a huge influence on me um, watching wrestling. The first match I can really remember was Hogan versus um, Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania six. But that really wasn't the match that had me hooked. It was one character, and it was Razor Ramon. He was so inundated in that machismo, the Latin culture, that I was like, all right, this is my guy. And obviously, we found out later on that mach- the machismo was not... Latin, but <laughs> some guy from uh, was it Nevada or something? A big white dude from Montana. <laughs> Montana. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> but man, that character alone it was fantastic for someone like me, coming from um, you know Hispanic heritage, and that dude just had it all. He he had the look, he could wrestle, and he had that swag that we all loved as as a Hispanic. He played the role well. He got the character from. Uh watching Scarface, and yep. Vince liked it, and then he rolled with it. So now we see Shawn Michaels coming out with his insurance policy, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. And Shawn, he's too cool to walk under the ladder, so he goes around and does a little pose and got the little 1994 uh, Dwayne Wayne glasses from a different world. They look like, like bullseyes in, the, in that one eye, was it? Well, that's why his eye lazy now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the beginning. Jeez. We just talked about um, Kevin Nash's impact in, on wrestling, and this right here just shows how big of a character he was, too. Just Even though sh- he's not in the match, everyone's just looking at him like, who is this guy? Is he going to have some kind of play in this match? But when you watch, you'll see. Yeah, so if you go check the It Doesn't Matter podcast in the archives, we talk about the Royal Rumble 1994, and Razor Ramon defended his Intercontinental Championship against... IRS, Erwin R. Scheister. And IRS got the win because of uh, Shawn Michaels' interference with the Intercontinental title. But at this time, in 1994, Shawn got suspended and he had some issues outside of the ring. So we have two Intercontinental champions. So when he came back, this is how we got this ladder match right here. Because right now, um, Razor was a champion, and then I guess Sean showed up later on saying that I was, oh, Sean would say, I'm the real Intercontinental Champion because he never really lost the belt when he went away. But look at that. Just going down, <laughs> no fear of the that whole superstition going underneath the ladder. Just oozing machismo. Man, I, I'm not going to lie, man. When I was growing up, I had that little hair thing in the in the front. When that, I had long hair, that's curl done. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go down, I see a ladder, I just feel like. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought he had cheese on the back of his trunks. So, as a kid, oozing my cheese moan. Like, oh, okay. Man. Never knew that was switch blades. Razor blades. Razor actually. blades. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, he he was cool, and you know, we didn't know at that time that this was all about the click. You got three out of the, you know, five guys right here. That's all, you know, best friends. Yep. Was uh, Triple H here at the time? Or was he just on his way over? This is like 94. He, he, I want to say he showed up late 95, early 96, I want to say. So you basically sure. got the, the, the original click right here. This is the original NWO if they all had went over without <laughs> knowing that what would happen backstage. Yep, Razor. Passing his chains off to Tony Chimmel. If something happens to my chains, I'm going to mess you up. And then <laughs> flick the toothpick right in his face. Razor was that dude. Razor was mad cool back then. Man. Yeah, he was. Especially in WrestleMania in the arcade game. That was my game, man, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ring it <their> back. <laughs> that was a classic. 
that one Raw's War on Sega, and then I don't know if he was in WrestleFest, but that was another arcade game that I just could not get my hands off of. So, so this right here is a ladder match. This is not the first ladder match. The first original ladder match in the WWF at the time was Bret the Hitman Hart and Shawn Michaels, and Bret got the win. Yep. But uh. They really don't recognize it, but you could watch it on Peacock if you want to nowadays. And now this is the this match right here is the, you know set the trend for future ladder matches. Yeah, because at this time no one really knew what a ladder match was all about. Like this is still something new. These guys starting off quick hot, a little hot like a regular match, little eye rake. Look at the athleticism right here. Look at that quick choke slam. Oh. <laughs> This is just beautiful, beautiful. Dam- Damian Priest need to do a choke slam like that. He does, but everybody kicks out. <laughs> yeah, so the fans not knowing that what a ladder match consists of, they see the belts hanging up there. So these guys just starting out with a technical wrestling match. And, yeah, the fans are all sitting down. But this match right here, it slowly builds up, and you're going to see the fans start getting hyped up. And yeah. you're going to see Shawn Michaels become innovative, and this is how... You know, won the moments where he became Mr. WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean, we've all talked about it. Like, when you consider someone Mr. WrestleMania, is it his win-loss record or is it his moments? Oh, wow, what a quick throw out of the the razor. All right, showbone a little bit. Yep. I still don't consider him Mr. WrestleMania because of his win-loss record. I still think Undertaker is Mr. WrestleMania. But that's my opinion. It is what it is. He did still a lot of... You know, moments yes. at WrestleMania. And we just see Big Daddy Cool just clothesline Razor Ramon. And Earl Hebner is is talking shit to Kevin Nash. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. Now Earl's talking to Shawn Michaels. Yep. I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't like it. Yep. You know what? You, you out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> he, he just threw Kevin Nash diesel out right now. But it makes no sense, though. This is like a no disqualification match. So why does it matter if my, the big man get uh, thrown out for it? I mean, in a big match feel like this, you want to go one-on-one. You don't want any bullshit going on. So that way it's, you know, it is what it is. I, granted, like you said, there's no DQ. So that shouldn't matter. But this is WrestleMania's 10th time going out. And they want to have a good show. And you know what? Mono y mano. Timestamp. Timestamp right now. We are at... Two minutes and one, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Razor sliding in. So we're about seven minutes into the match. Big Daddy Cools got ejected already. Shawn Michaels with that Ric Flair ask. I, I always loved the way he did that. Woof. Razor with a clothesline uh, to Shawn, getting him out the ring. It's just crazy just seeing these two. Like, like um, Ray's only had, what, three? Well, maybe four WrestleMania matches, I want to say. Yeah. WrestleMania 9, 10, 11, and 18. Was it 18? Yeah, it was 18. 18, that's it. And it's crazy. He wasn't in the company for very long. We mean about four or five years. But he made such an impact that... His mark was just untouchable at that time. Damn, what a punch. You could just see this, the spit coming out of Sean. Everything looks so fluent with Razor. I the think punches, he had... The I, kicks. I everything. think his punches were probably one of the best. Oh, Shawn Michaels throwing out Razor out on the, ring, on the ringside with the, without the padding, landing on his knee. Uh, fans, <laughs> if you're a future wrestler, that shit hurts. <laughs> Laying on concrete. Hell yes, yeah. sir. Definitely. All right, now Sean's on his way to the ladder with a quick limp. Now, this isn't like one of those tall ladders we see nowadays. This is one of those like... This ain't AEW. AEW, you got your spot ladders and you got your, your ladder to, to climb up. This right here, then we have one ladder. So, all right, you're going to make the most out of this ladder. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it don't break. This is one ladder. So, if they didn't have a ladder, <laughs> if this one broke, oh boy, this... Ooh. Look at that. Sean bringing the ladder in. Razor stopping him just before he gets to the ring. 
He grabs the ladder right now. See, I love the selling. This is what wrestling needs. More selling. It's something simple. Boom. Boom. Right That's when the, the whole match turned right there. Razor's trying to put the ladder inside the ring. Shawn Michaels with a drop kick to the ladder right into Razor's ribs area. That's it. I mean, everybody wants to be stone cold and badass and just almost untouchable, but your drone eventually slows down, so you got to start selling. That's, that's how you get them, man. Sean and Razor with the, the steel steps, throwing them back in the ring. It's crazy. Razor, he was the, you know, one of the hottest baby faces at the time. Sean, he was like one of the top guys at the time. And we know, what, shortly after this, I want to say, well, maybe not shortly after, but, you know, he eventually turns on Diesel and Diesel get, get the rub and he's the guy. And yeah, like, these guys right here, them two, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, those are your guys right there. You had Luger still there at the time. I it, think at this time, though, we were starting to go away from that big muscle guy that wasn't wrestling the way we want him. That technical style was starting to take over, and we were getting tired of that brooding big man fight. Man, Sean. Ah! Sean just dumped the ladder on Razor's back. Oof. It's crazy. This is such a simple match, but it, it goes without saying. It, it made everything made sense. Using the ladder to your advantage, you're going against the big guy. You know, use whatever weapon you have around, especially something like that, a steel ladder. Break him down. Take your time. Oh, you know, uh, he's down. Grab that ladder, Sean. So, since you were a Scott Hall fan, were you more of a Razor Ramon or a Scott Hall in the NWO? I was Razor Ramon all day. All day. Something about that, man. I know his character was evolving more and more with Scott Hall because it was more him. But like I said, being of uh, Latin descent, that Razor character was where it was at for me. All right, Sean, with his first attempt to get the two belts. Yep, Sean's climbing up the ladder right now. Razor's right behind him. Razor got the leg. Razor got the trunks. Up oh, is a full moon in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Watch out now. Sean with the diving elbow off the top of the ladder. Pulls up his trunks. Actually, nothing happened. <laughs> then they zoom in. Of Heart course. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that ladder. It's not as tall as you, what the ones you see right now. That's probably like an eight foot ladder. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. Steady for the guys at that time. Sean with a scoop slam. And he's what's about Sean to, about to do? He's going on the top rope, about to climb that ladder. And you about to see what he's about to do. This right here, you've seen all the replays right here. Yeah. Timestamp. Right now, we are at two minutes and six. <laughs> two, two hours, hours and six, six seconds. Min- or six minutes, yeah. Six minutes, 37. Oh. Sean with the splash right off the ladder. Right on to Razor. Razor is selling that mid area. Yeah. Working. Yeah, he's been getting the ribs worked on. So, plus his back. Getting the air sucked out of him. Oh, baby's about to start crying more. One, two, three, kid. (laughs) Give him his bottle. And Uh, diaper. Sean with the second attempt to get the the titles. He's almost there. Look at the brass ring or the ring that they have right there. It's not like what they have now. No. That holds like the briefcases and whatnot. Oh. Oh, Razor what? just dumped the ladder and Sean just crashed and burned. That sell. It, oh, my God. Sean knows how to sell. I mean, it's, it's way dramatic, but. <laughs> oh, the ladder is stuck on Sean's foot and Earl Hebner had to give him a hand. I never noticed that until now. Wow. It's the little details. Yeah. Let's hear what the internet says about that. Why is the referee touching the ladder? Fucking IWC. Shut up. (laughs) All right, now we're about to kick into another game. Holy shit. Double head butt. They're both knocked out. And you notice there's no rest holds in this match right here? There's no need for it. The rest holds are right there. Take a little bump here and there. Pause for a minute. Let the crowd stir 
They both laid out. That's like they've been drinking all night. <laughs> or they both had that New York hot dog on the side of the road with the onions. Woo! No sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are all tuned in. Like, all right, what's going on? Who's going to win it? Would you get that haircut down with that mullet? Hell no. <laughs> That's just terrible. It's crazy. Everybody trying to bring it back nowadays. I can't do it. I'm all set. That's terrible. And crazy thing is, you would think the guy dominating this match would be Razor, but Sean has been all over this match. It's pretty much 80-20 right now. Yeah. Sean using his, his smarts and his quickness. Irish whip. Reversal. Oh. Sean Rain to the ladder, right over the top rope. There you go. The chick in the front row, she's like, come on, Razor, come on, it's your time, do it. Come on, Razor, what are you doing? Leave that ladder in the ring. Don't bring it out. Oh, uh, you know what? All that damage you've been inflicting on me. Oh, right in between the chest area. Razor with the ladder again, hitting Sean in the back. That's kind of close to the ringside area. Look how like close everything was back then. Hey, look, that's the the, the dude that had a documentary on. Oh, uh, Vladdy. Vlad, yeah. I gotta sit back and watch that. That was a good documentary. It's sad. Fortunate, it's sad. But slingshot, Sean Michaels ran to the ladder again. Razor's finally heating up. Sean, the ladder's right back on Sean. Sean just, <laughs> he can make something look so simple, look easy, but it wasn't simple. It was very difficult. With You have to be super athletic to do some of the things he did. Razor throwing Sean back in. How you feel about Razor or Scott Hall never winning the big belt? I was never an advocate for that. I always felt that he had the look, he had the character, and he should have been the champion. Even if it was a short run. But you know what? That secondary belt, that Intercontinental title, that United States Championship that he had, he always made it look good. Yeah, he did. So it almost it was almost like he was the world champion, even though he never got the chance to be world champion. He did go against former champions like Brett and and uh Randy and all these other guys. They say the heavyweight belt brings in the people, the secondary belt, the IC title, whatever. That's your title. That's your working man's title right there. And I totally agree. That's what he did. At this point, yeah, it, it was. Sean, oh, no. Sean's climbing up the, the ropes while Razor was on his way up. Sean attacked and Razor. The ladder attacked Sean's again. That ladder's <laughs> all over Sean. Sean like a magnet with that ladder. I said one ladder. That's all you needed. It's amazing to see what would have happened if that ladder snapped. What would you have done to, to fix that? They'd probably go to the production truck. <laughs> like, lower that damn belt. <laughs> Something. Bring it to the corner. <laughs> there you go. Both guys about to climb the ladder. This is one of the first times you see a double... Attempt, right? Well, at least that I can remember. Yeah. For a title? Yeah. Or you mean for them climb up the ladder? Yeah. Yeah, it's the first time. It was so... It wasn't anything spectacular, but just something like that. Here you go. Oh, my the, God. The suplex. Razor falls. And look at the ladder. It's, it's, you can see it's slightly getting bent a little bit. Like, look at the legs. They're working on... Whew, on luck right now because any any false move and that thing could go. Seriously. All right, Razor making another attempt after that suplex off the, la the ladder. Sean stirring up. Razor taking his time. He's still a little injured from the the damage he's taking from Sean. He's got one hand on it. Sean Michaels with a drop kick to the ladder. Razor flies off the ladder. There you go. This is a good ass match, especially for this time in 1994. I, I wish more people would do matches like this where you're not 
going and off and killing yourself. You're not destroying your body as much. Yeah, there's some moves here and there where they can hurt each other, but it's simple. It's it's basic stuff. <laughs> Sean just pushed the ladder on the razor. <laughs> Said, you know what? You need to get hit by the ladder a little bit more. <laughs> but honestly, if we've seen a, a simple ladder match like this nowadays, everybody says, oh my God, that was a boring ladder match. They want to see a crash fest like that, crash and burn fest like that. But you you can't have that every time you see a, a gimmick match. Yes, it's sweet chin music, even though it wasn't sweet chin, just a regular super kick. You you gotta sometimes keep it simple. Always keep it simple. It the simpleness is what keeps keeps the magic. Yes. Look at the garden. That place is jam packed to the Raptors. Look like Friday night SmackDown of the night. Still haven't gone. I gotta go. I've never been there for a wrestling event. I definitely want to check it out. Seen the Knicks out there, but never wrestling. So one day, yeah, we'll make it happen. What is Sean doing? Is he trying to do a razor set? Oh, nope. Pile driver. Pile driver. Bam. Oof. He protected him real well with that one. Yeah. Last minute. I can see why that move is is not used too often by certain wrestlers because it's just. It's very dangerous. I wouldn't want to take one. No. I don't care. It'd be the safest wrestler in the world. Like Sean being innovative. He grabbed the ladder. He's climbing up the second rope. Now he's going to oh, try to... top rope now. He's gonna, what is he going to do with that ladder? Is he going to try to... He's going to try to smash his face. Sean with a splash onto the... Well, basically his body just took over the ladder and just landed right on Razor. That's 200 plus pounds coming across your chest with a la steel ladder. That, that's, not, that's not good. Yeah, timestamp. Timestamp right now. We got two hours and 15 minutes, 23, 24, 25. Sean setting up the ladder one more time. Look, Razor's under the ladder again. See, that's bad luck. <laughs> you don't set up a ladder underneath somebody. You gonna do roll them out the ring? I mean, if you're gonna do that, at least place the ladder on top of his neck or something so he can't move. So he doesn't have the strength to push off. You do that hawk too. Oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sean grabbing the, uh, the belt, but nope. Razor shaking the ladder. Razor with a shoulder tackle right to the ladder. Sean went flying on the top rope. His foot caught in the rope. Here we go. It's perfect time, Razor. Come on. The fans are hyping up right now. Oh, come on, Razor. Come on. He's stuck on that ladder. He's stuck on that rope. They're Get playing tug of war with the ladder while Sean's still hung up in the in the ropes. Razor got the ladder. This this right there is so something so simple, but that gives Razor plenty of time. All right, fix Heck fix yeah. yourself. Razor's climbing up the ladder. Sean's struggling to get out. Oh, his hand's caught now. <laughs> he is stuck. Razor and got both championships. Razor is your winner and your undisputed Intercontinental Champion at WrestleMania 10. Shush. What a match. It was a great match. And the crazy thing is, they had another ladder match, uh, SummerSlam 95, a year later. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And that one, I guess, was rated a little bit more, uh, well, not as good, maybe better, because they found a way to use that match without having to use the ladder set for one time, is grabbing that, that belt. And it was, if, I, if you recommend a second ladder match for these guys, that's the one you might want to watch, too. Yeah. But this is the most famous, the most infamous one. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why this match really made you, and it's... I enjoy this match. I enjoy WrestleMania 10. We talked about it early this year when we were talking about um, the Royal Rumble and what led to it. Cause I told you Crush and Macho Man at WrestleMania 10. That's, that's one of my favorite matches at that show at the time, besides Brett winning the title. This right here is one of my favorite poses of all time. He's got the two belts. He's got this. And then he's... That's dope. And he's doing the razor. Yeah. That's one of his greatest that's moments. Me. One of his greatest moments right there. This right here could have propelled him to even bigger heights, but it just Vince never saw it because he had other guys ahead of him, which 
I get it. You guys got like Brett and and Diesel, Sid. You got to feed the monsters. Yeah, but but yeah, I heard that this match went a little bit long and uh, <laughs> it cut back on time because I think the next match is supposed to be like a five man tag or you know five on five match and it is what it is. I'm glad they went over because they yeah. deserve it. Yeah, they deserve it. I agree. So I enjoyed it and. I'm glad to have you on the show on the second episode of Wrestling That Made Us. We're definitely going to do it again. Definitely. And uh, any thoughts? Um, It just, uh, this match again, it, two guys that are good friends that are so selfless with each other. They, they know their strengths, their weaknesses. If you're a wrestling fan, don't look for just who you love. Look for the character and what they do for each other because wrestling is all about how you work with your partner. It's you and me, we've been best friends for 20 years. We even discussed at one point if we were to ever have a match, I'd be more than willing to be the guy to take the L. And everyone looked at me like, Really? I said, Yes. It's, it's all about the build. I know how to get that baby face reaction at the end. That's it. So that's true. But all right. Well, until then, I'm Notorious One. I am Dom. I'm here with my best friend, the Dominican Dream, Poppy Platano. And we will see you next time.